Hi everybody, I just wanted to do another quick video on some of the free stuff you can get to help you learn a language. Now, I didn't know about this site and a friend of mine uh, who I do Korean language exchanges with, who is also a massive YouTuber and has like almost 100,000 subscribers in Korea uh, teaching how to do English, she showed me this site um, for uh, helping with pronunciation. Now, if you're struggling with pronunciation, this is a really good site. And what it does is it has indexed all of the videos on YouTube and it finds the native speaker using a particular word. And then it'll let you listen to the uh, video where they're actually doing this pronunciation. So let me show you this. It's a, it's a site called Youglish. And if you wanted to learn, oh, I don't know, uh, how people say the word pretty, for example, in the United States, you could do that and they will show you videos where people are saying this word. There are some pretty common responses. Right. Yeah. But if you wanted it in the UK English, then you could get that as well. And we redeveloped it from pretty much from the ground up. Or Australian. Australia. Although these guys look pretty chilled now, they certainly had a rough start to the year. Now, interestingly, it's not just English. There are a lot of other languages that it will do for you. Um, so if you wanted to hear vous in French, uh, you can get it in French French. Or if you wanted it in sort of French Canadian. Or in Belgium or whatever. But regardless of what you're doing, uh, there's a lot of languages here that they have indexed, um, which allow you to hear the pronunciation of a particular word in that language by a actual native speaker. So there's a, I think they're adding more all the time. Uh, they certainly have added more since I was introduced to this site. Uh, but if you're really interested in hearing the pronunciation and trying to follow along with a native speaker as much as possible, this is really brilliant because it will help you, um, you know, learn that pronunciation. So in Korean, now you notice in Korean you only get the one, one choice, um, but for other languages like French you get where it's more widely spoken. Um, but lots of languages here. So I highly recommend this if you're trying to fix your pronunciation or learn better pronunciation. So uh, if you're interested in this sort of thing in the pronunciation, have a look at this site. It's well, well worth looking at. So that's it. It's a very fast and swift video for me today. Just highlighting uh, something that I found very useful in your pronunciation practice. So have a look at the site and I will see you later. If you like this sort of thing, don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm doing a lot of these videos recently and uh, we'll be putting out even more. So thank you very much and I'll see you soon.